Well, welcome to our weekly video blog. Um, name's Tim Weigel, New York State IPM program, and with me today is Andy Musa from Penn State and also a member of the Lake Erie Regional Grape Program. Uh, today we're going to talk about grape berry moth. We're in the middle of June now. Um, Andy, you've been out in the vineyards. What are you finding? Well, this past week I've started to find um, berry moth in the clusters, and since the berries are uh, still not large enough for the larvae to enter the berry, what they'll do at this stage is they will web them together and inside that webbing feed on the berries. And, and in about probably oh, a week to 10 days, they'll probably be big enough to, uh, the berries will be, so that the larvae will be able to enter inside the berries. And um, that's when, if we do apply um, uh, insecticide, it'll be more difficult once they get inside because um, the larvae won't be affected by the pesticide then. Okay, that's I was going to ask. So we're seeing the webbing in the clusters now. Is it um, something that we should be concerned about? Is this generation one that we usually treat for? Generally we don't with uh, generation one and, and that's probably why. We're seeing a little bit of the webbing but most of it at the first generation they're actually on the wild berries mm. and so um, they, they move into the commercial vineyards uh, the second generation. So at this point I wouldn't be worried but it, that would more or less be a cue to you know, as the second generation comes up to really start to, um, you know, hone in on the scouting at that time. Okay. So by going out and seeing it, you know that you have some berry moth out there. You need to keep an eye on it. Um, one way that you can keep an eye on it is there's a phenology-based degree day model um, on NUA for <laughs> berry moth. That's uh, the Network for Environment and Weather Applications. It's The website is newa.cornell.edu. Um, and I was on that this morning, and I noticed for the Portland lab um, that we're at 486 degree days. And today is June 21st, so 486. What does that 486 tell me? Well, it, it again, it, you should be checking this uh, as we get closer to, to that 810 degree days, because okay. that's, the, that's the point where if you look at the NUA model, uh, you go on NUA and you go to the Great Barrymore Moth Degree Day model, it'll tell you at 810 degrees is actually when you will be applying a pesticide for grape berry moth. So uh, we're halfway there and again it depends on how warm uh, the rest up till that time is because the warmer it is the shorter that time period will be. But as you get closer it will also tell you to scout. So um, that would be important to keep going to the grape berry moth degree day model on NUA and um, especially as we get closer to that 810 degree days. Okay. And the NUA model, it also has some um, pest status and pest management suggestions that let you know, you know, when the, to, as you mentioned, it's time to start scouting as you get closer to the 810. And also gives you some recommendations on whether to use the, what timing for, like say a contact insecticide where you want more of the population there as opposed to one that needs to be ingested by the larvae. So you'd want to apply it a little bit earlier. So... Yes, I'd say, um, again, um, look at the uh, 2017 New York and Pennsylvania Great Pest Management Guidelines, and it has a whole list of uh, insecticides and their effectiveness on berry moth. And it'll also have a table that will tell you if it's ingested, if it's a contact, and I would compare uh, the different materials and make sure you know when the pre-harvest intervals are and the re-entry periods and things like that, but if you look at that, that will tell you which of those materials are whether contact ingested, and um, go by that. Excellent. So, um, it's what we've found in years past is it's important to get out in your vineyards and scout. Um, now's not too early um, to let you know what's coming up, and then use the model on NUA to help you hone in on when the best time to get an insecticide or management treatment on. And Tim and I have talked about the scouting and um, it's extremely important and even if uh, you find in the season that you do apply an insecticide for grape berry moth, we encourage you to, to continue to scout just to see how effective that was and um, that way later on in the season or the following season you can then base um, your management decisions on both your scouting data and um, the information from uh, new of the great berry moth degree day model. Okay, great. Um, and as, as always if you have something that you'd like us to cover on the weekly blog um, put it in the comment sections below or just get in touch with one of the members of the Lake Erie Regional Grape Program. Thank you. Thank you.